Alright, hey guys, here we have a Casablanca Panama 5 in polished brass. Um, at least I believe it's a Panama 5. The, the pan flute it came with actually says Panama 2, so I'm not really sure which one to go with because I'm pretty sure the Panama 2 included a 3 or 4 speed pole chain. So I'm going to go with the Panama 5. It might actually be Panama 2 because that's what's highlighted and it's and flip. Um, you know, it's got the K5L, which I really like on this, especially with that glass. Um, I'm probably going to be keeping this fan as it is. It was originally supposed to be a parts fan, but I don't think I'm going to be able to part this out. Um, before, I really didn't care too much for the concealed hardware, but now that I, you know, see it in person, it's really not too bad, especially now in the polished brass models. Uh, I believe it has teak blades, and I'm not really sure what kind of glass that is, but it is really nice glass. But the main reason I picked this up was actually for this system, which I've been looking for for quite a while, pretty much ever since I started collecting, and that is the Comfort Touch system. Uh, the system, you know, never really knew what it did, but I thought it was—I just always thought it was a really cool system. You know, you got pretty much same functions as regular IntelliTouch. There's a few extra things like, uh, what else? There's, you know, reverse, there's the winter. It actually helps with your heating. Auto, um, thermostat, so you can set the fan to a certain temperature. Once the room hits that temperature, it'll turn off, or once the control hits that temperature. Actually, I'm not really sure. Here is the fan. Anyways, um, let's do. It doesn't have a specific demo mode. We'll do test. It's basically the same as demo. doing. Not too sure why the arrow is pointing down when the fan's going up in speed. So there's actually, you know, a little thing on this fan or on the control that actually shows what speed the fan is on. So right now the speed the fan is on speed three. The light is dimming. So it appears the fan doesn't go to high unless I missed it. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it is making one god awful sound. And yeah, it is shaking a little bit, but I don't have completely proper mounting. So that's reverse. And the light is at about half brightness. So that must be the noise that the people were talking about. This fan actually came with a three foot down rod, but it's got about eight feet of wire on it. Now, I don't know if we're going to go with that being done. I'm guessing that's it. I don't know. I, <laughs> I really don't know. I've never dealt with the system before. All right, so I just turned it off. Now, as you can see, if I hit this button right here, bring the fan to speed one. Yeah, I'll have to look into whatever that sound is, or might, the shaft might actually be bent. As you can see, if I hold this button down, it brings the light level up, and if I hold it down, it 
brings the light level down. Go to speed two. Speed three. Yeah, I'm not too sure what that noise is. Go to speed four. Oh, it is really bad on speed four. Unfortunately, the control is partially yellow, but it's really not too bad. This is Velcro to the wall. And um, they actually bought an Emerson with a K55 motor because they have a RCK55 receiver, which is what the hang tree came in. Let's go to speed six. Yeah, I don't know what that noise is. So the control does work fine, it's just the motor. As you can see, it turns the fan off. I'm assuming that's going to affect spin down. When I spun it, the bearing seemed fine. I was expecting to get it and have it locked up, and when I found out that the motor wasn't locked up, um, you know, I kind of got worried that maybe it was the board. So we'll see how things go if, yeah, if that's a bent shaft, there's not really anything you can do about it. There's a good spin down time on the lower speeds, it seems to perform just fine. It's just those higher speeds that it um, makes it grinding sound. Oh, and as you can see, I got a tripod. I almost forgot to mention that. I, I'm still trying to get an idea of where to place it right now. It seems all right, but I think I need to move it back a little more. Maybe reposition the camera as well. And it seems a little more too. All right, there is the Casablanca Panama, two or five. I'm not sure. I'll put that in the description. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, thanks for watching.